Hi there, welcome to my vlog. Well, I'm on my way back from uh, work here. It was uh, quite a long day because I got a visit of one of my old friends. And I want to discuss this with you right away while I have the idea in my head. That's why I'm vlogging here as I'm cycling away here to my hometown in calling Denmark. Well, okay, so he came with me up. He came with an idea. He wanted to start a company. And I think the idea is great. There is nothing wrong with that one. It's a really good concept. And I actually think that there is a big market for it. So, but it's not the idea that I want to talk to you about today. It's more, not, it's more like another concept that came up during our discussion. The concept of time and money. You see, there is a uh, connection between those two. Either you normally have a lot of money and have no time, or you have a lot of time and no money. And that's, that's how it is to be an entrepreneur. You don't have a lot of money, you don't have a lot of time. You have either. So, yeah, e either one. Either you have a lot of time or you have a lot of money, right? So, but it's something that, uh, it's a concept that you're selling your, your, your time for money, right? Otherwise, this calculation would never work. So, I just came up with the idea. Is there a connection between having your own company and looking at time as money. Because it, it, it actually turned out that, well, we have a lot of time, but no money to start this company. I've been on this process here a few times, but the thing is that when you're an entrepreneur, you have to consider to make some money. Otherwise, you're not an entrepreneur, you're just a guy or a girl on a given adventure. So today I'll try to give you a tool to evaluate your time against money, yeah. But to do that, we need to find a place a bit more cozy than on the bike here. So I'll find a place somewhere and we can have a talk. Yeah, see you in a second. So what's the story about this time and money concept? The thing is that I, I actually believe that when you go to work, there's something that you do in exchange for time and that's to earn some money, which, it's, which is quite obvious. But I also think when you get an entrepreneur and you start your own company, there is this border being slowly being wiped out and that can make a problem for everybody who wants to start up a company. I've been there a few times myself. You, you don't get rational about what you're using your time for. It's more or less, well, I have this dream and I'll go I'll do whatever it takes to get there. You really want to go and just pursue your dream, which is noble. I think it's great. I think it's fantastic that somebody really wants to join the game out there and really want to bang it away, And it's, but it's a, hard, it's a hardball game. But there's something that we have to take in consideration, and that is the time that we're using will not get the time back. Once the time is used, it's not coming back to us, which is also quite obvious. So when should we close down the project? That's a model that I want to show you here in a minute and what's my, what, that's the model I want to show you here in a second. And that's what me and my friend there and uh, over a pizza and a few uh, Diet Cokes actually agreed upon that time and money has to work together. It's of essence that you, or that you do the best that you can do with your time. Well, let's go to a piece of paper and I'll try to write out this model that we came up with for you guys. Okay, let's try to draw out the model here for you guys. Okay, well, of course we have like a line here. It's this one here represents the amount of money you make. This is the money that you're making up there, okay? And out here you have time. Also quite obvious. If you go to work and you are an employee somewhere, the there is a connection between time and money and it will look something like this. You will always ha always be sure to make a given amount of money over time. And of course, the, the more time you work, the more money you will actually earn, at least in the ideal world. Okay, so this is when you are an employee and you have a job somewhere. So how does this model look like if you are not an employee and you have your own business? The thing is there that you have to take into consideration that you're making up your own budget. So now we are having some new line here it's not only money 
It's money as well, but it's also your goal. What do you want to achieve? Where do you want to go? How much money do you want to make? And so on and so forth. Okay, and out here you have time. Okay. In the ideal world, you will have a line looking going going something like this here you'll try to this here is is the perception of what is going to happen in your company and by the increase of time when time is moving you'll earn more and more money because your business is growing and by the end of the day you'll have more time for yourself earning more money than if you were an employee if we could put these two on top of each other which is almost possible to do you can see there is a gap here so once and eventually you're going to earn more by having your own business then be an employee but there is also a correlation here between the money and the time that you're using the thing is a lot of people they have this idea when they start up a company that it will go something like this this is of course the dream scenario but what what might happen is something like this you are really starting up you're banging away their time is moving and you're not re reaching your goal not even close to but the gap here is just growing but then something happens you are starting to gain momentum in your business and you are starting to get near and close to your goal let's say this here is is the point where you can hold your own that's where you can you know afford your mortgage and stuff like that and you'll get really close and then just suddenly it, it flattens out and it might even drop down over here and then it'll be something like this so you're just beneath what you need to earn in order to make a living and you're still using a lot of time here you're banging away on time you're really trying to to make your company work what happens here is that you have the perception and you remember the part here where it really really growed so you will sit out there and dream about this time when everything was happy it was nice it was perfect you almost made the money you wanted to make and when you get out here and it's it's tough and uh, maybe maybe you should even close your company down because now you're actually losing money somewhere out here you, you get red figures right uh, once the figures get red you're trying to maybe you take another mortgage in a house maybe you'll have well the first investors friends fools and family as I used to say uh, coming in with money for the company but the thing is that you're just using the money you don't earn anything when are you going to close down your company you can go down with the company because over time you, you have a, a gap between what you earn and what you what you need to earn in order to keep your, your, your life running there. So the concept here is actually quite simple. I want to introduce to you something I call the red handle. And the red handle will save you a lot of money, time, and will also bring you a lot of success. So the concept of the red handle. The red handle is kind of like where you, you can push that one and the and then shuts off and then the company will stand still what you need to do with the company when you're starting up a company and when you run a company whatever it is how long time you've been working on it you need to be able to tell the red figure what will it cost for you if you close down the company like if you just push the button and everything shuts off there will be some might be some some rooms that you have rented some rooms or, or some a store somewhere you might have some subscriptions on different kinds of payment gateways you might have a web shop you might have different kind of things but it will cost some money to close down the company right so if you know exactly the amount of money it costs you to close down the company then you know exactly what it costs for you to push the button that's that's the red handle you just draw it and and everything just stops it's kind of like a handbrake you can just stop the company you know exactly how much it will cost you to do that but you also need to be aware when you're starting up a company that you are fully in charge of your own time if you take this curve here it will show that over time you will make some money either way it doesn't really matter you are exchanging your time for money if you do it on your own you will if you're good and, and lucky and then the good fortune is with you you will end up on this curve here and you will make more money spending less time and that's where we want to go everybody wants to go so the idea of the red handle is how much money will you spend before you draw the handle here somehow companies they don't want to die and it's because the people running the companies they are just throwing everything in there and they end up in a bankruptcy situation that's that's no good it's better to draw the handle take the small loss instead of losing everything and start over or you can go back to be an employee you know get a job and you can have a second 
time job or second day job, whatever it's called, where you can try to open your own company and you can start over. And it will might take a while, but you will, you know, your wounds will heal and you'll get back on the horse. And there is no doubt if you really want to make a success, you'll do it. But don't do a success, whatever it costs, it take it, whatever it, <laughs> it this, there is a saying here, whatever it takes. Yeah, that's great. But that's something to do with you, not whatever it costs. It may not jeopardize your future and your family's future. That's just uh, my idea of, of, of course, it's, it's good to take a calculated risk once in a while in order to make it explode. That's fine. That's what you need to do once in a while, but you need to do it calculated and you need to do it on purpose and you need to figure out the numbers. That was it for today. I hope that you could, uh, could gain some value from this short video here of introduction of time and money concept, employee versus uh, entrepreneur, have your own company. Well, if you think that this video here was nice, I'll be really happy if you throw it a like. You can even push the subscribe button and hit the bell and I'll see you in the future. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs>